and zoom in two cameras one account at the same time why would you want to do this why would well, it actually makes sense let's say you're in a blended learning scenario and you got kids in class and you got kids in zoom and you're going to be using your internal camera to deal with the kids in zoom but you want them to be able to see the kids doing stuff in the classroom that thing's mounted in the back and you don't want to toggle in between so it's you or the class or the class in you you can have them both showing at the same time maybe you are a tactile focused teacher um, visual arts or dt or shop and you're delivering contents to your entire distance learning class but you want them to see what you're doing with your hands and the movement with the paint or the drawing and you can have that external webcam mounted someplace so they can see you and you're looking at them and they can see what your hands are doing as well and some other people are like, you know what, I feel when I show a presentation that the kids start looking at me. And it's not like in class where they're kind of, they got both of us, the uh, presentation and myself focused at the same time. And it's a mutual delivery. With the Zoom thing, I just sort of fall off or maybe they minimize me and I want to stay right there in the presentation. And I thought about it. I was like, I think I have an answer for you as well. So I'm going to toggle over to Zoom. I'm going to open up a new meeting. This is my internal webcam on my Mac. I'm going to go to share screen, most of us. Now with this, always tick on that desktop business because that's going to show everything you have and you're gonna have different programs open. This is how this works. So definitely tick on that. So now you can see over here on the right, it's myself. I prefer to be in gallery view on these. It'd be myself and some other kids and the content I'm going to deliver let's just say it's this guy right here um, but I want them to see this external or secondary camera now with my Mac I can click on command shift and your windows you can do alt plus n and what that'll do is it'll change my camera from internal to that and vice versa so I'm going to go with my internal for my zoom and on my Mac, I'm going to open a program called QuickTime. And I already have this guy open. This one was File, New, Movie Recording. I'm not going to record anything. I just need this program to be open. And at the top, very important, go to File, Float to the top. So what I have is I have a... I zoom running in the background on top of everything. I have my Chrome browser with this published presentation. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And sitting on top of that, I have this webcam, which is backed up into this QuickTime. This could be anywhere. It could be showing other parts of the classroom. It, like I said, it could be showing my hand over here as I do some drawings, this sort of stuff. And I can put this anywhere I want. And as I go through this presentation, it stays there. Pretty cool. Now, let's just assume that you are one of those people who are like, you know what? I want the kids to look at me while I'm giving this presentation. And I don't want to be over here where they can minimize me. I just left a space into my presentation right here. And if I go through to the next slide, I stay there and, and I'm there the whole time and I can talk to the kids like this and so on and so forth. Now, that is sort of a weird angle because it's not on my internal. I can switch this up and I can go to my FaceTime and now I'm looking at the kids over here and I'm basically duplicated on both. So even if they can't see me over here, I'm looking at them and I'm giving this presentation, that sort of thing. I'm going to switch back with this one with my, this one I have to manually switch. With my zoom, I can just do my command shift in and I can go between the two that way. Cool. Now, um, on a secondary suggestion, when you do show your presentations, if there's no GDPR compliant issues with this, go ahead and just publish those guys. This is the presentation. If I go to full screen, I'll use my shortcut, it works. Um, things disappear. This probably disappeared. It did just disappear. At least it did for me. I'm not sure on the back end but I just don't like the full screen aspect. I do want my kids to see full screen, but I prefer just to do this file. 
I go down here, it's published to the web. I'm going to move myself out of the way here. I can minimize that with a command M. I usually put it at the end. That way, there's, it doesn't auto advance if I'm still talking about something. But then I can just grab this link, and it looks like this. So it's just more, it's much more um, containable, and it's easy for me to go in between my programs and not have to toggle in and out of full screen and that sort of thing. And then I have my secondary camera, which I can put wherever I need to. Some people might actually just have the presentation open this big, and you got your multiple camera setups over here. Cool. Hope that helps. Uh, I've been thinking about how to fix those issues for a couple of you for a while. And um, like I said, even if you're on Windows, there is a program that works just like this. Um, QuickTime will work with most versions of Windows. You've got to do a special download for that. Um, and the interface might be slightly different, but the premise will still be the same. Something will pop up. You don't even run the program. You don't record anything. You just want that preview to be open, and you record it with the desktop from Zoom.